The two of the Imbal preparations have registered a cocktail of events. To begin the day, hundreds of Imbal surgeons in the 6th district of Ubugisu region have undergone a thorough vetting and medical training as a password to legally carry on their work. Here in Imbale, registered surgeons turned up in big numbers, a sign that they are eager to be certified before they embark on this year's circumcision activities. <laughs> now before Frida, one of the facilitators elaborates the importance of this exercise. Because you know, the level at which HIV can be transmitted, it is through anything. So many ways. But we want to first of all try to sensitize them that one man, one knife. However, it has not been an easy task as fracas ensued when the organizers smelled some irregularities concerning the big turn up. Suspicious that there might be intruders, the organizers decided to conduct a roll call to weed out masqueraders. It was at this stage that we spot out these angry surgeons. Nyongeza Joseph, also known as Mandefu, Surambaya, traveled all the way from Kiriandongo district to also get certified to carry on with his traditional calling of circumcising others. Deviating from his colleague, 34-year-old Hatiti Fred is both a medical and traditional surgeon. Hatit confesses the fact that for the 16 years of his work as a traditional surgeon, he has been practicing illegally. It is for this reason that Hatit decided to leave his other professional job as a nurse to come and also get certified. Over muto ngoli murwadde. Echo 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 kusala chitandi kirizanga burwadde ngabo nalaba anti musujja. Speaking while displaying his main surgical tool, Hatiti reveals that he is proud to be in both fields, describing it as a blessing. The Bible says that Ebya Kaisali biwe Kaisali and Ebya Katonda biwe Katonda. So I believe in all. Away from that, officials from Inzia Masaba have expressed eagerness to host a historical event that will see about 10 boys transformed into men, depending on their brevity, to face the knife. Brothers, close to 4 million on the Kenyan side. We are 3 million. So, yes, it is going to be an unique one with the two, two communities on each side of the border with one culture. On the security note, line organs have held a security meeting just to seal all loopholes, leaving nothing to chance in as far as the security of the revelers is concerned. Even as the RDC is cognizant of the fact that this is a transborder culture that is likely to attract thousands, he is confident with the security measures in place. The UPDF will give us a backup uh, in the rear. Uh, this is done to ensure that the function is secured, the people are protected. Uh, we have deployed along uh, the lodges of Umbale up to the main venue. As the Bahamas have prepared for tomorrow's event, that is the official opening of Imbalu, security organs have come up with a workable security plan. In their plan, security organs have advised motorists to keep off the actual cultural center, except those in possession of security parking cards. That means you and I will have to trek right from this point for close to 300 meters to Mutoto Culture Center. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.